Okay, folks, Rob back from our old place, and this time we are checking out Action Fighter, originally developed by Sega and published in the arcades in 1986 with a Master System conversion the same year, and that Master System conversion was the basis of this C64 version, converted by Core Design and published by Firebird in 1989. So the idea of, of Action Fighter is that it's very much a take on, on Spy Hunter. Uh, you drive a fancy vehicle, and you must complete five missions, where Spy Hunter was sort of endless kind of deal. This is five to six missions. This first mission, we've got to take out these three U-boats. And so let's go. So you start, your vehicle starts off in the form of a bike. And the idea here is, in this, oh, it's life, that's very nice. So in this first sequence, what you need to do is try to survive as long as possible and collect those six tokens. You can see the A, B, C, D, E, F on top of the, on top of the string. As you collect the D token, which we're halfway to now, um, C, you will transform into a car now. There's sort of benefits and, and um, pros and cons to doing the car versus the bike. Um, namely, it's around that helicopter. Um, when you're the, so when you're the bike, you're more agile, you can see, you can move um, a bit more agile on road. Oh, more importantly, that's Sega Man. So now I've just got a weapons upgrade, you can see that icon light up for dual firing. So, back to the bike. So, the bike is more agile, but you can't collide into, into these vehicles, uh, into the cars at least. Cool, and that's all six tokens, so I just gotta keep going and wait until I hit the, the, the ramp to move on to the next sequence. Ooh. In car mode, you're now vulnerable to be attacked by this helicopter. Um, so what you really want to do is not do that. Um, the thing that's really cool is that by hitting space, you can transform, you can alternate your, your firing mode. So in this case, ha ha ha, it booted me out, that was hilarious. All right, so I'm done the first half of the stage and now we're in jet car form. And this sort of turns into a bit of a Xevious style shooter as what we need to do now is fly to the location where those subs are and take them out, or well, those U-boats I should say, my mistake. So in the air, things still play the same, more or less. The difference is, well, that's, that helicopter is how you get your weapon upgrades now. And alongside my double cannons, I'm now got double bombs. If I survive to getting the next, um, the next one, I'll get rear firing, which is very handy to stop enemies coming up the back. And then the fourth upgrade from the, the upgrade vehicle, the branded upgrade vehicle is um, temporary and vulnerability, which but you can also get a power up for that. So it's a very interesting set of events. So that was the smart bomb. Um, the capsules have different letters in the, in the air sequences. So rather than just being your linear A2 uh, F, so there was B for, B for bomb, S for speed. Um, you can see I'm sort of moving a bit faster now, even though the scrolling is still keeping the same pace. Like my fighter, my, my jet car. Um, T. T adds a bit of time to the, to the countdown timer. You know, you've got to beat the stage before the time runs out. So it is still got its arcade. It's B, again, the smart bomb. Um, you can get one that gives you an extra life. I think that's E. We can get the rear firing now. Oh, yes. Rear firing. It's not much helpful, but I think it's more helpful on the ground, but I think you lose all your power-ups. I. Oh, son of a... They stole my eye. That would have given me invulnerability. Jerks. Oh, two lives left, okay. You do start off a decent number of lives, which is handy. Um, speed upgrade. So one of the things that was interesting when I was looking this up, um, was that I saw that it got some pretty harsh reviews. Um, Zap gave it like 39%, which I think is a little too harsh. But I think there's good context in the sense that um, really this is, you know, it's the design is not that far evolved over Spy Hunter. In some regards, it's a bit backwards. And Spy Hunter was six years old by this point. Um, and honestly, given the choice, I think I'd rather play Spy Hunter. I think the feeling, the physics feel better. Can you call them physics? You know, the car, the, the way the car drives feels better once my last life. And I think we're almost at the subs though. The pacing is weird, um, and that's one big problem I have here. Just the levels drag on. There are too many seconds where. Oh no! That was the extra life. What a noob! Oh, I missed the extra life. Okay, but you sort of like we're flying over the surface here, and it's 
It's a little too long, but okay. We've got our friend the U-Boats and that's game over. Let's have another run. I like the presentation. The tile screen is nice. Some good music there. Unfortunately, no music in game, which is a bit, a bit, bit of a disappointment, but probably not much of a surprise. Okay, let's do this again. I'm going to turn auto fire on my joystick so I can actually don't have to slam the button all the time. So yeah, let's not run into the back of those cars. You can't shoot them. I mean, you can shoot them. It's just it takes a little too much hit. No, the auto fire's not fast enough. All right, let's try and avoid the chopper. Oh, you don't really have to avoid the chopper now on the bike. Um, those little flags are worth collecting because you get extra points. Got to be careful of this section because if you go too fast, you'll crash. There's pill A. I've got to give the... Technically, I've got to give the core guys work here because this is, you know, a game written for a master system on a cartridge and they've squeezed it into a single load. This is a, a single load over the five stages. It, Probably means things do get a little visually repetitive at times. Uh, from what I have seen, uh, why am I doing that? You can't shoot the helicopter. Um, if you survive long enough in the car, you can actually get missiles that are air-to-air -air missiles that will take out the um, the helicopters when they attack. But you don't have much. You don't have such feature available on the bike. Okay. Let's try and keep the dual fire. There's C. Visually, I think it like, looks great for a, for a game of this year. For 89, the sprites are really nicely drawn. The player, you know, uses a high-res overlay. Um, the second sprite serves a high-res overlay. It looks very nice. Sound effects aren't, aren't, you know, significantly special, but they're, they're actually pretty solid. They do the job. The music's great on the tile screen. I just wish there was more of it. And now we've got the anti-air missile, so you can see that blue missile firing, that takes out the chopper. But I think we're pretty much on track for um, proceeding to the, to the second phase. And here's the jump. There we go, four lives this time, which is much better. Anyway, like, like I said, I think it's a very commonly designed conversion. It's just, I think the game design itself is a bit limiting, and that's extra life. And another extra life. You're spoiling me, action fighter. Thank you. These are looking a bit better, this play, I think. Um, yeah, sometimes there's like random numbers involved and they always have their complications. But yeah, I think this is a case of a game that is a very competently converted game. It's just of a game that the design's a bit flat for and is probably a little dated. I mean, personally, I, I could see why it would get a 30% score as a price release. But honestly, I would say it's it's a much... It's not one that's going to keep you playing forever. Um, and I'll admit, personally, I think I'd rather be playing Spy Hunter. I think Spy Hunter's just a little more a little more character to it. And being so much earlier, I just... I feel Spy Hunter's a bit more fun. But that could be... Just, ah, I don't want to die. If I did have one complaint, I think the sprites are a little too large here, there. They're just really... Like, the play area, the proportions between the sprites and the play area, probably a little too large. But that, again, is a personal pref. I, I think I prefer smaller sprites. Yes, we're going to get invulnerability. Invulnerability. There we go. There's a smart bomb to clear the screen. It didn't really do much because I was only got an enemy. So when you need to swap off some of these opening enemies. Come on, smart bomb, let's do something. Again, the smart bomb comes and doesn't clear a thing because there's nothing on the screen. The pacing in this game is so weird. Um, but yeah, if I had to stick a number on it, this would probably be like a seven. I don't think it's a, an utterly sublime conversion. I don't think you're missing out if you don't go play it, but it's it's fun enough and, well, and worth checking out. Um, probably I should, something I should, should add is that um, Fiber did the UK release. Um, in the States, Sega themselves published it, so I think it's not too hard to hunt down. Um, funnily enough, the scans of the instructions I I dug through because I couldn't find my actual tape um, were in the US version. But hey, I presume now we're going to get another vulnerability pack. Oh, yeah. I think we're coming up to the, to the U-boats now. 
I was getting excited. I thought that maybe we were getting close to the U-boats. Alright. Like, that's the thing. I think the pacing is weird in this game. That the levels probably drag on a little longer than they should. Um, and that was the thing. I thought that might have been an arcade thing. But again, you know, this isn't based on the arcade game. It's actually based on that separate Master System conversion. Which I think... Oh, darn it. Okay. So now we've got to take the U-boats out, which is just by bombing them. And you sort of do it when they're surfaced. So when they're surfaced, you line up. So you've got to sort of learn. That's the first U-boat down. So you, you tie up when they're surfaced, so you can sort of lead, lead your shots. That's the second one down. Wow, I'm at, I have seven lives. That's a lot of lives. Six lives. Okay. Last U-boat now. Come on. Yeah, because you've got to wait until it surfaces. And that is the first stage done. Congratulations, you've completed mission one. Now let's take out some tanks. Interesting now, you see the, the stages change up a bit because now we've got those dividing uh, line sections. Uh, there's an A. All right. Flag. There's a B. Oh, there's a helicopter, which we don't really care about because we're we're in our bike form, so we're safe. There's another flag. I am interested in seeing a. Uh... I do find the the pattern management a bit funny because like the enemies will spawn and then collide into things, which I find funny. But hey, what do I know? Huh? All right, let's see. Ah, oh, I missed the flag. Okay. There's a C. All right, let's keep going. Uh, uh. <laughs> I should always pick the opposite path. Uh, there's a D, now we're in car form. Let's transform, transform to bike form, just temporarily. Now that chopper's gone, transform back to car form. Just so we're a little stronger. There's our friend the Sega van. Now I've got the anti-air missiles. Oh yeah. There's E, we've got one more left, and we can get to the skies. Ah, um, there's F. Now we're ready to go. Now, hopefully it's not too long to. We'll see the, the ground, we'll see the ramp coming up soon. Sort of, it sort of bothers me a bit just how long it takes once you've got F form to. All right, and now rear firing. Oh yeah, rear firing is the car. Oh yeah. Come on game, I've got you six letters. Let me fly, let me take off. I don't know if it's like you've got to get to the end of the sort of scenery loop or something, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Alrighty, so we're in, the, we're in the air now. We've got six tanks to bust. All right. Don't really need the time. Okay. And we've got invulnerability. Take that tank. Take that weird ground thing. Take that tank. And another weird ground thing. I don't know what those things are that I've just bombed. I mean, there's the tanks, but the, the other thing. It sort of seemed a little repetitive visually because, uh, realistically, this, like the, the you know, tile sets, tiles, you know what I mean. The graphics used are the same as in um, the previous stage. It's just that things are laid out a bit differently. Um, there I was, and I got walked by a missile. Better being turned into a green thing. Anyway, let's keep going. Got the helicopter. Now we've got to get those support planes out. Ah. Those down support planes. Okay, there's an extra life. Let's get that. On the upside, invulnerable. These enemies are painful. Okay, there's some more points. Oh, you get an extra life every 10,000 points. That I didn't realize. I thought you'd only get the extra lives from the E pickups. That's why I've got so many lives right now. Oh, yes. Okay, just gotta be careful trying. Because I get it's sort of that thing where there's like only five stages, which isn't really much, but you know, it, they sort of turn the difficulty up. 
Yes, double fire. Could use that double fire right now. But it's only double air fire, not double ground fire yet. It's getting nasty, isn't it? Oh. All right. There's in and there's more invulnerability. And there's like heat-seeking missiles. This game is really eating up my lives like Pac-Man eats, eats energizers. Or is that just me? <gasps> All right. Yeah, it's sort of, I really don't like the big sprites and it really started to get a little chunky. But it's not a bad, it's not a bad game. It's, it's okay, it's not. Like I said, I think I prefer Spy Hunter. You know, a, a tighter formula means room where, uh, quite frankly, the, the gameplay has more room to be refined. And this is one of those things where, you know, it's always going to be a cut down take on an arcade game. I kind of wish the arcade version would actually get some, um, would get some love in some of those home re-releases, but maybe just that obscure and that not very good. I played for like 30 seconds in main before, before actually, um, covering it. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh, there are six tanks. Now those are some big, big chunky tanks. All right, and I've only got, that's two down. And I've got five seconds left. I'm gonna lose a, what happens now when I lose a life? Or maybe it's just a bonus thing. All right, last tank. I guess it's just the bonus timer. That's a relief. Stage three, destroy three helicopter gunships. Back on the road. A little more distinct visually for this stage three. Like yeah, I don't think it's a bad game. I think it's an all right little game. Um, all right, there's the helicopter, but we're involved because we're a bike. That bike for sidecar, that's a lot. That's a, that's a smart one. That's gonna hurt. All right, weapons upgrade. Don't wanna get splattered across the uh, middle of the, middle of the road there, right? Oh, and we did anyway. Da -da. B. Another helicopter, which we don't care about because we're invulnerable. So I don't need to get behind that check with his side gun. Oh, what a cruel game! It's like I hit the I hit the turn point right as the Sega truck was coming. Oh, why would you do that? Cruel developers. Okay. Oh, all right. Last life. I think this is going to be it here. So. Oh, I don't really have to worry because it's a helicopter. I'm not too fussed about that. Okay, car form activate. All right. Oh, there you are. Good. All right, 77,000 points. So I could almost get an extra life. Do I not? No, game over. That was a good one. Actually, it's not the best road arcade kind of thing. I mean, I still think I prefer Spy Hunter more, but you know what? Action Fighter still is a bit of a pretty good game. Huh? I think it's worth checking out for sure, you know. Probably would be not the thing worth hunting down first and foremost, but I think it's a pretty fun effort that's worth checking out regardless. Um, I'm going to leave it here, so thanks very much for watching.